everyone so today is a little bit of a different day we're here in Woodstock and I'm with Natasha hi Natasha hi <laughs> so we're here I'm gonna just turn around we're here Ooh. We're here at Deckle Edge. There we go, the Deckle Edge. And we're going to go inside and we're going to discuss a lot of lovely materials now. I've even got my little trolley because I'm going to do some shopping. Hey, Natasha. Natasha's giving me two baskets. A big shop today, huh? Yes. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> okay, so. <clears throat> now, Natasha, why I thought it would be such a lovely interview is because... I do a lot of my shopping here. I do it online. I actually do it mostly online, but it's wonderful to be here in the actual shop because there's, it's a feast for your eyes, which we will be going down the lovely aisles earlier on. But now Natasha is the recent, quite a recent owner of yes. Deckle Edge. And Natasha, what made you, um, you know, come into this business? Well, we heard the Deckle Edge was for sale and we just thought that is the most beautiful yeah. store in South Africa. True. We just cannot, whatever we need to do, whatever mountains we need to move, we are going to do it and yeah. to make that happen. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And it must be, you must feel absolutely amazed every day that you have this all at your fingertips because you yourself are creative and you yes. love to... Paint is that your main thing you like to do? That's true. I love to paint with acrylics. So yes. I'm kind of the artist in the family. Okay. <laughs> so good. when they want me to paint something, I get asked, Aww. and I love the feeling when you're creating. There's that that flow state. And yes. It just it feels good. Wow. Yeah. And Natasha, you put one of your works here. You said you did it during lockdown. 2018. Oh, 2018. Before lockdown, yeah. Before lockdown. I needed something for my lounge. So oh, right, right. Something big. And this is the biggest one I've done. Okay. And I thought I'd put it up because I knew you were coming and you liked big art. <laughs> <laughs> and Natasha, do you, um, I mean, do you, do you still work? Do you, do, do you even have time running a whole store and doing some artwork? Do you have time? Not really. No. So I've been attending my own workshops. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been inviting different artists and then I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this workshop and yes. then I come and I do it with Now that's a very good point, Natasha, because I never knew until Natasha asked me about doing a, a workshop here. Um, I never actually knew that Deckle Edge do this. Is that something quite new? It is quite new. Um, before we owned it, there was one uh, watercolor workshop that happened and I was right. like, well, we need to just do more. I want to get... Our customers creating. Absolutely. And I think it's such a good idea, Natasha, because people, um, you know, even walking into an art store like this, if you're not totally familiar with all the products, it's, it can be very overwhelming. Okay. So to book a workshop, like, what are the ones coming up? We've got a lot coming up. Um, we've got a golden ambassador coming to do two workshops. Oh, wow. One is a to Frida and one is a... Okay. Uh, Protea, and right. she will be explaining the different Product. golden oh, products. Okay. So you can actually use them. And golden is buy. an acrylic range, is that yes. right? Hey? Yes, I best. love it. It's the best. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. And then we also have uh, printing workshops coming up. So right. people have all been expressing interest in printing. So we do a whole lot of printing, oh, eco printing, lino printing, and that kind of thing. Wonderful. With different artists, people. Different artists. Yeah, that's yeah. fantastic. And then we also have a new lady. Um, uh, Cleo, create with Cleo, and she's going to be our resident um, art teacher. And oh, we're going to have kids' classes wonderful. and adults' classes. Which makes so much sense in this. And then, and the lovely thing about the, um, the workshop, um, Natasha, would be that somebody would feel after the workshop they would understand what to go and get then. They would understand what materials to go and get. Huh? Yes. I think that's absolutely... And it's also just putting... Um, time aside like I'm going to this workshop I'm gonna paint not I'll paint later yeah. or I don't have time absolutely so, you're right it's so even that's for myself. why you go yeah that's why I go <laughs> are you coming tonight yes <laughs> so Natasha I was like I'm booking. was very insistent which is good that that's good businesswoman skills right there <laughs> She was beautiful. very insistent that I come and do a workshop here, and I don't often do workshops because of time-wise, but I'm doing one here 
The Saturday, is that correct? <laughs> the third. Yeah. The third, because it's September tomorrow, in case you didn't know that. Oh, hi, that's my friend from UK. Hi. Yes, this is the Deckle Edge store. She, oh, This lady asked, this, is this a Deckle Edge? Yes, we're in the Deckle Edge, people. Um, so I'm doing an art class this um, this Saturday, um, but it's fully booked, uh, unfortunately. Yeah. Fortunately for the people <laughs> that have booked, though. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but Natasha, we were we were laughing because actually when we put out the advert of the of the um, you know the workshop, literally minutes later, I got messages to say they can't get through and something's wrong. And then Natasha had to go to her tech people and ask them what was wrong. But it literally we had hadn't just opened the store yet. You we posted at seven thirty and they were right. sold out. They were sold out. <laughs> Sorry guys, but that, thank you. That means you really want to come and it's going to be fun. I'm going to make it fun. We're going to, we're going to be painting flowers, obviously. <laughs> so now, um, Natasha, you're going to take us for a little walk because, sure. um, okay, let's just first go to this section here. You said this is a new section you've created it is. Um, for families or for anybody who comes into the store but just feels like they want to just try out a few new um, products. And do you change? Do you change the products every now and again we on the do. table? We do. That's wonderful. Yes. So, so you can feel quite um, you can feel quite relaxed when you come into the store. Like not like oh my gosh, I wouldn't know. Am I allowed to use these? You're allowed to use these on the table. And I see you've got some um, acrylics. You've got some watercolors. Yes. You've got and I actually mentioned to you Natasha got some markers. Some markers. Pens. Markers. Yes. Yes. And um, pastels. That there was this acrylic. Oh, yes, pastels. That's wonderful. And then you've got paper. And then you've already got even things kids and families. You actually said that even families come in together. Yes, we had a watercolor competition, coloring right. competition, and we just invited all children, families, and it was very successful, and we wanted to just continue oh, it. That's wonderful. You know, during load shedding, we were like, come and paint here. Yes, you know, oh, come good and, idea. So that's really what we want to continue, is you can actually come and do art in our store. Absolutely, and I think that's the key thing when, when, when we're talking art, because often people get very overwhelmed and or nervous to come into an art store to use materials, but you're making it more user-friendly, which yes. I think is such an important thing, yeah. Yeah, Natasha. Definitely. And even when I saw this pouring acrylic paint, I haven't actually used that before. But um, as Natasha said, she sees in some of my videos, you know, when I chuck the paint on the canvas, I water those acrylic layers down. But I've actually been thinking maybe I should get some pouring um, medium because then it doesn't take away from the intensity of the color. So we're gonna walk over to that section just now and I'm gonna put it in my trolley. Um, but you know, that's, this, that's the other scary thing when you do come in here is you maybe came in here for one or two items, but then you see a whole other lot of things you need. You didn't know you needed. But you need. So. Yeah, myself. Too. I also just want to buy stuff all the time. But now, Natasha, it's be fun for you, hey? You yes. just, I mean, you see, you know, it's stock. But <laughs> okay, you know, I've got you it also. Make like... money, yeah, you have to be careful. But yeah. still, you would want to just try out all sorts of things. But the wonderful yeah. thing for you is you get to um, hear about a new product that comes out first, hey? And That's you. True and you get to see it and, and what it does. And sometimes we're lucky and we get a few samples and we do ask for our customers. So yes. when we get samples, we do also try to get our customers yeah. there and let them try it. That's wonderful, that's wonderful because that's the only way people would know how that thing works and if they should purchase it. That's because true. they'd be nervous to purchase it otherwise. Sure. So you would need to know. That's why having a physical store is nice. I owned an online store, but one of the barriers was that they can't touch and feel the paper. They can't, you know, see if the paint Absolutely. or compare the paint. Absolutely. Such a, yeah, it's such a good point because mm. I, it's so true because even for myself, I mostly shop online. But even coming here today, there are, sometimes I can get sort of stuck in a color way, like, okay, I always order those colors, blah, blah. But now, as we were walking earlier, I just suddenly saw some other colors I need because <laughs> I didn't know they actually exist. So I need them. 
So yeah, the, I think that's the thing. It's good to come to a physical store. Yeah. So um, definitely do yourself a favor if you're in Cape Town and or destination. I'm gonna make it a destination. An Cape Town is the place to come. Deco Edge, you can pop by here yeah, for sure. But also on that point, mm -hmm. um, Natasha, you send. Um, I set up a, a bar online. Natasha, you send everywhere. Everywhere. Nationwide. Everywhere. Johannesburg. And then all the little dorpies and villages that dorpies. don't have art supply stores. That's yeah. true. So, so There's quite a few and we have a lot of loyal customers from all the small towns and yeah. things like that. And that, that, that you must be um, a wonderful shining light for them because that's the thing. If you can't get this kind of range in a smaller place, so it's perfect. Eh? Yeah. And it's we've just redesigned our website so it's much more user friendly and we are loading products oh, daily. Good daily. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. No, that's fantastic. Okay, let's go, let's go for a little walk now. I've got my trolley. Okay. <laughs> take us so to the, the take us to the pen room. section. Yes, oh, the pen is this the pencil room? There we go. All the lovely pencils, diaries. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. And we'll just walk past. We'll yes. Oh, oh, there's a kiddies area. Is this the kiddies area? This is the kiddies. Oh, this is the kiddies area. Wow. We recently painted and, our, our mannequins bright colours. Oh, and as you see, oh, see, it says kids corner. Yes. And as you said, people say it's like a candy store. Yes. I think it's because of the colours. Do you think it's that? I think it so. It looks yeah. so. Colourful, hey? So these are all different. Wow, there's just so many things for them to do. And and I think all kids like being creative. I think it's it's more as we've gotten older, people have let their creative side go, hey? Thinking maybe that they're not good enough or whatever. But I mean, all kids just go for it. They just love it. They just love getting stuck in, getting messy. And here are all the brushes. And actually, I wanted to just quickly talk to you while we're here. I ordered a big brush once. I'm trying to think. I think it was Da Vinci. The big, the big, big one. Well, yeah. it's not that big. We <laughs> Sorry, so I said that. I saw you saw. No, no, no. It's not that big. It's not a wall. I'm painting. <laughs> um, no, no, but it was large. -ish. It was probably about this sort of size, but not as long. It's like a shorter. Um, we, that I love. The Da Vinci stock mm. is a little bit low, but we are waiting for a shipment okay, on that. Okay. It is a very good Wow, brand. but you've got a lot of brushes here yes. now. <clears throat> I always say, so I use a lot of these brushes, these flat tip, because mm -hmm. I find the, the benefit with a flat tip is you've got that lovely broad stroke, and then you've got that, when you turn it, you've got the thin with yes. the thin line and I, I don't know if you've seen in my videos but I like to like move it I like move it around I didn't even know I did that until I watched my I saw it <laughs> until, it's did beautiful you see it? yes <laughs> until it looks I so watched easy my, <laughs> like yeah, a everyone wand, says actually. that they're like oh it looks so easy <laughs> but yeah you know practice makes easy eh? yeah. so yeah you've got a lot of selection of these flat tip here eh, which is wonderful okay so let's go into the paint section <coughs> that's the oil. Oh, that's the oil. Room. Yeah, the acrylic room. Oh, yeah. So you've got them all in sections. So we're walking into the acrylic room now. Yes. Wow. So here we go. So there, uh, there's so many different brands. There's the shrub. Do you say shrub or shub? Shrub. Shrub. Okay. Shrinker. This is um, exclusive to the Deckle Edge. So. Oh, is that exclusive to yes. the Deckle Edge? Oh, so it's specifically made for you. Not or made for us. We imported from Germany. But we are the only oh, uh, people in South Africa. Oh, that's, right. oh, that's interesting. Um, so it's quite a new brand then here, would you it's say? It's not new. No, we've had it for quite a while. Oh, you've had it. But the okay. brand, this particular one is new. We've decided to bring in a student acrylic. Oh, just right. Just that's, you know, yes. more affordable for people yes, to yes, start. Of in the is this the student one? This is the student one. Oh, this is yeah, the student it's one. It's not the artist. Oh, okay, and then this is golden. Golden is an artist range, hey? Yes. And it's very, very, I mean, it's obviously more expensive, but it's very, very dense in the color, hey? It's very intense, the yes. colors. So what, um, it's strong, so you use strong. less 
Let's exactly, just roll with that. exactly. So you actually so you, say totally true i've yeah. realized that you know if you invest in a good quality paint it's so true you use less of it because what you see is what you get then it doesn't like become totally absorbed again into the canvas or the paper or whatever you're using it's so true so true yeah so that's, so that's, that's the workshop we're having and, and, and coming are, up oh you've got and what are these i've actually never seen they've also got pouring the, is this pouring i think that is pouring Fluid. Oh, a fluid. So you wanted to try the fluid. This is already mixed, so you actually don't need a medium. Oh, right, that. right. So you but could just... I think because I use quite a range of different paints, I'll just get the... Sure, the... you can just add it. Oh, wait, where's that again? Um, it's over here. Oh, yes, the, the pouring... Uh, yes, the pouring, the fluid medium. With I'm going to get a, I'm gonna the, get some. The dollar. Let me maybe get a big one. A big because, one. Well, not, not that big. I mean... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get this one for today, the yes. flow medium. So that's not going to take away my intensity of my color, but it's going to allow um, the paint to move a lot more freely. And I'm going to try chucking it. You know, when I chuck yes. it, okay. Try oh, I'm excited. Ooh, me too. <laughs> I'll be showing video. me that. <laughs> okay, okay. <clears throat> so yes. we've got that range. And then we've got the lovely Cry uh, Lucas, Lucas acrylic. You also use that. I use Lucas yeah. as well. Also because it's a good quality paint and um, they come in the loveliest colors as well. Mm. I love some of these paler ones and I love, oh yeah, they're gorgeous. They really are. Yes. Okay. I love this Arctic. What is it called? Arctic. Yes. I love yes. this Arctic and I love the mint. Those are beautiful colors. I'm definitely taking that because obviously, you know, you can mix these colors with all the other acrylics you've got, but the thing is, why mix it when you can buy it? <laughs> and sometimes, you know, it's, it's, it takes you time. It's just think of time. It's going to save you time when you've got this exact color. And these just... Yeah, you don't I have find, to mix it every time. So if no, you go back, exactly, trying to get that same Exactly, color. and I find, you know what, I find I use this a lot, in, even in when I'm doing my greenery. I find that there's smidges of bluey greens and this is just a specific one that works so well mm. so i actually use that a lot in my greenery for sure it's going in the trolley um and so would you say this is on the plastic range is it just because it's it's this it's metal bigger? has become hard scarce oh, so that's the problem right. actually oh really this yeah, so the, a lot of um, companies are going to the, are going the plastic, to the plastic because they oh, can't wow. find this metal. Oh, that's interesting, since, yeah? Since lockdown and COVID. Oh, since lockdown. Yeah. Actually, I just need another of this pink. I like this particularly light one. And actually, I oh, wait, I've, no, wait, actually, I've just got, got a big one. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm definitely going to take this one. Actually, I'll just take two of those. Rose, yeah, that's a very nice pink. Okay, so then you've also got your Galleria. Um, Winsor Newton, yes. which is a very good quality as well. Would you? I can't see the prices. Which is which is more the, affordable? The the is it the Lucas? Yeah. The Kryler. The uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So this is also a very good quality paint. But what I love, there's a color I very. I hope we've got it. Yes, you do. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this powder blue. It's also one of those colors that. Yes, you can mix it, but it takes quite a bit of doing to get this specific mm. powder blue. Mm. It's almost got like a lilac -y. If you can see it, it's almost got like a, a lilac -y tinge in it, which makes it amazing. So that's what okay. really special about it. Yeah, there's some colors I haven't I just, used Galleria. No, there's just some colors, this, and it's a good quality paint. So you're really getting amazing, amazing results with that. You see, it's just certain colors oof, that are divine. Yeah. Obviously, they're all the general ones I use. I use the bright pinks a lot. I use the bright yellows. I'm drawn to this one. Oh, the right. Yes, what's that called? Nice. Deep turquoise. That is gorgeous. Yeah. Okay, let's get one of those. Because this, <laughs> you know, where we, we I also use this color. Yeah. This color I also use in greens. Oh. When I've got a series of greens going on, this, you know, the thing with painting nature or anything botanical, there's so many shades of colors. Mm. There's like millions. So there's always bluey elements and tealy elements 
Yeah, so that's a good one. Thanks for pointing that out. She's a good businesswoman, eh? <laughs> <I> <laughs> okay. <like her>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> and now we get to the lovely iris section. Now I use a lot of this paint. This is a Primart, um, uh, yeah, here we go. Primart brand. And there, it's also so, you know, the color is so strong and mm. so... Um, Dense. So I love this magenta. I've got a lot of this color, and I love the um, oh I see oh there yeah the bright one that's maybe sold out. Maybe I bought it all. The, um, <laughs> we are getting more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's that color called now? Fluoro rose. Fluoro rose. Yes. And you know sometimes if I've ordered online, there are other artists that order online as well, and there's a specific white I order. It's called. Um, called Kryler. Yeah, Kryler's a Mac. I order mm. the white there. And sometimes another artist has gotten there before me mm. and like bought, I don't know, five or whatever. So now sometimes, I mean, don't be angry with me, but sometimes now when I do an online order, I just say, how many have you got? I'll take them all. <laughs> but you do do your, you keep getting in your stock. You always time, replenish. So you exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And I see uh, the fluoro. You've also got a fluoro orange, which is might have also bought all of that, but you're getting you're we're getting, getting it all in stuck. We are. We're gonna have tomorrow is September. Yes. It's spring it's tomorrow. Spring. All the colours. And I love the turquoise and I specifically love that lilac. Oh, okay. It's one of my favourites. Yes. And you know I love that you also have the big tubs of the iris because black and white is white. Wow. You can never have enough white. And actually black too. It's funny, really? you, you know, really. I always buy the big tub of black. People think, well, especially my work's quite bright. Like, why do I use black? Black is essential for Where depth. are you using? Oh, for Where? <laughs> <laughs> I'm using it, you know, to mix into all the different greens, into all, say you've got red, you're wanting it to be much deeper, you put a little drop of black in. I'm always using it for my depths. Okay. I start with all my depths and then I'll add my bright. No, central. Good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good. There's the Kryla. Oh, there's the Kryla. <clears throat> okay, there we go. That's the. This is the um the white. That's very. Okay, I see you have a lot there now. I'm not going to take it all, so don't worry if you do <laughs> need. There's plenty. But this one, why I love this white is it's so strong. So I won't Pickles. use it. What, what do you mean, like? Yeah, pigment thicker, strong. pigment strong, okay. intense, intense. So what I will do is I will use, I will use the iris. So this, like I'll get a big tub of iris, right, for my mixing white. I'm saying for my first layers bef before I put, um, because we also use water mixable oils, which we'll go and show. Okay. Go and show that just now. But so I use that white for mixable, um, to mix my colors. But then if I need the strong white, like I just need it to pop. It needs to be white, white, white. This, it's gold. <laughs> gold. Gold. <laughs> so we'll just pop that in there. I have got some in my cupboard, but you can never have enough. Eh? <clears throat> and I mean, I'm here. I may as well just pop it in right now. Yes. There we go. Okay, so now can we go to the water so water mixable? I was the water use, uh, Winsor, um, Newton. Winsor Newton. So a lot of people don't realize, but when I use the... Um, the oil. Yeah, I think it might be here. Huh? So this is this is the oils. Um, artist oils. Let's just have a look. So the water. No, that, that's just the. Um, no, wait. Where are they? Well, maybe we need to ask someone here. Huh? Should be in that. Sorry, section. I haven't never no, used no, no, that. No, right. But so a lot of people. Um, don't, when I say I put oils on top of my acrylics, which I do, I I like the water mixable oils because they they don't require the strong fumes, intense fumes that normal oils require. So um, I find them so handy, and also because I'm using the acrylic underlay, I'm using the water anyway. Oh, there we go. It's the artisan. <laughs> there we go. That's it. We found it, huh? Yes. Yes. Okay. Water mixable. So this is it, water mixable, and it, it's almost like it doesn't make sense. So no, like, like I've never used like, it, but water why? mixable oils. But you know, the interesting thing is, when you squeeze it out, it literally looks like oil, 
it even smells like oil and you can see it's got oil in it. You can see it's got oil in it, right? But you mix it with water. So I never have to change mediums in between. But it still has the density and the, the um, you know, the the way you can move oils very easily, you know, compared to acrylics. Um, so I find it really wonderful for my final layers. I do. Okay. Yeah. How does it mix? Does it mix with acrylic? Absolutely. Well, it mixes on top of acrylic. Oh, okay. So, so my acrylic dry. base is dry, and then I come in with this, and it and it just makes things pop in a way, which is wonderful. Is so it glossy, like a gloss? Um. Yeah, it is quite glossy. I mean, I do seal my work afterwards, but it. Yeah, it is. It literally is like an oil. But my, my favorite colors in, in this is I absolutely love the sap green. Mm. It's such a depth of a green. I absolutely love it for um, my greens. And then in the pinks, I love this permanent rose and I love this magenta. Ooh. Okay. Do you completely you cover have. all what you've done or just add? No. In? So that's actually a good question here yeah, because I think... With, with an artwork anyway, you know, the whole thing is like when to stop, hey? Like you've done all your things, well, when to stop? And I think that's, you have to really feel it. Like you don't think, okay, now I need to cover it all. No, just go in there, work in areas, but when you feel like the artwork is working, stop. So some of the areas, say in the background, might shine through, they might still be acrylic, you know? So I think the thing is always to be very, um, very aware of what you're doing. I'm very aware and aware when I'm a stop. Look, I mean, I totally overdo some things sometimes. Um, because you almost feel like sometimes when I'm creating an artwork, you feel like you've just done too little. Maybe it's just I can't stop there, but it works there, so you should stop there. Mm. You know, I think it's always the dilemma uh, that an artist is. Um, it's true. Oh, and another color, sorry, that I really love. So I'm going to take this magenta, but I love the alizarin crimson hold on but you've got it's the um oh, sorry sorry <laughs> thank you thank you okay no it's not the oh wait here it is no that's an indian red oh that's interesting i've never used that one and i use a lot of raw amber and i use the lamp black it looks like that one is um, yes it's a deep one like this it's like a deep color like this yes. yeah yeah but that's also very nice deep rose color i love but it we can definitely order it oh yes 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 well i mean you keep oh and then i'll use the white there's a big you can get the big white in this which i think is probably there it's probably underneath there but I use the big white because, again, as um, Natasha said, white, you're using so much of it and you mix so much of it. So I just get the very, very large tube. I just want to see if there's any questions for us. Hi from Durbanville. Oh, it's wonderful. Um, okay, so that's covered all the things I mainly use in my products. Now, Natasha, what would you say in the store? What would you say... Um, is your biggest seller like what sells the most in your shop? The top brands sell. Um, you you want me to name a brand? No, I don't no, want no, to get no, in no, trouble. No, 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 don't name a brand. I uh, mean, like, do you sell mostly acrylic paints, or do you sell mostly oil paints, or do you sell mostly canvases? What is your biggest like seller, or brushes, or what? It's mostly canvases, and okay. acrylics, and brushes. I and brushes, say. you say, yeah, and yeah. paper. People oh, come here, we are known paper. for paper, we cut the paper to size oh, that's people, so we that's offer that service. Your paper section. Sure. That's wonderful. And I see all your canvases are here. Yeah? Yes. So you've got all your canvases. Um, you have a large canvas room. You've got a large canvas room. Oh, and I love all your round canvases there as well. You've got quite a... Oh, I've never seen those hexagonal ones. Wow. Oh, you've got a big canvas room. Look at that. Now... This is interesting. So this is lovely, truly fantastic. This is the lady that makes my canvases. Yes, I know. Oh, you know that. <laughs> Sherry. Hi, Sherry. Um, so the lovely thing about truly fantastic is you can come in here. You can literally buy a canvas. Wow, what is your biggest one here? You've got, wow, these are quite large. Eh? Mm. This is a 160 by, oh, I haven't got my glasses on. Sorry. 150. <laughs> Okay, 160 by 150. So that's a biggie. Oh, yes. and there's even a bigger one here. Yes. Wow. Okay, that's a big And one. they also will um, 
we can also do custom. No, no, well, that's what I was going to say. You yeah. can come right into the store, literally buy this off the shelf, which is wonderful, truly, from, truly fantastic. Or what, what I do, because I'm working mostly for clients and commissions, I will specifically send specific sizes. So it'll be 155.2 by whatever, you know? Like how big so, the wall is or something. Yeah, exactly. So clients have specific measurements, you know, maybe interior designers or a person. And you know what I always say, guys? This is a handy tip, quickly. So people sometimes think, how big my... Oh, look, I always say the bigger the better, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Not for any other reason that big makes an impact and it brings a, a room together so quickly. But people often don't know what size they must put on the wall and then they get out the tape measure and it gets confusing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it gets very confusing if you're holding that thing up. How do you tell? Uh -uh. <laughs> so what I do is I always say to them, take newspaper, literally stick it up on the wall Add, keep adding, maybe you want a little bit more of this side, add. Then when you've got, you've got a visual then on your wall, you've got a thing on your wall, you can go and stand back from different angles in the room, look at it, see that it goes, then measure that okay. piece of newspaper and then put your order in. That's clever. It's clever, huh? It's clever. Okay, I'm upset with myself. <laughs> well done. <clears throat> but yeah, it is a very good idea. I love this big round one, by the way. I'm just looking at it. Yeah. Could do something nice. Oh, I could, hey? Well, let's have a look. Oh, it's rolled. It's quite. I think it might roll into my trolley there. I do like that. I think maybe I'm going to have to take that, huh? Mmm. Okay. It's very nice, okay? I'll leave this here yeah, for we'll you. Yeah, we'll leave it We'll remember that, huh? Yeah. We'll remember that, Natasha. But again, you've got tons of little, um, <clears throat> tons of ready-made canvases. And I find I use a lot of these. So these are Primark. I use yeah. a lot of these smaller ones because they're, you know, they're very um, easy to buy. You usually have a lot in stock of the same size. So for example, if I'm doing a range or you're doing a, a, yeah, a collection, say, then you just buy a whole lot of that same size and you can be working on them at once. Oh. So they're really a good a good buy. And Are they separate or do they join in the end? Like no, no. I mean, you could make them join, but no, no, I just do them. I just do a whole lot. Sometimes I always think they look lovely as a collection, but people can buy them individually. Like I'm going to be preparing, um, not now, but soon, I'm going to be preparing for Open Studios Komiki, which you must come to. Mm -hmm. I want to. She's coming. So that's in Kormaki. It's a nice outing. Second to fourth of December. Um, you come along to Kormaki and you get to go into all the different artists' studios. And there's so many different kinds. So there's printmakers, ceramicists, painters. It's a very inspiring weekend. So I need to start preparing for that. It's a lot of work to be done. So yeah. So those are very And we have this handy. beautiful we can cut your canvas. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, look at that. Yes, yes. Oh, so if people, oh, so if people wanting just canvas like this. Yes. Ah, that's also, handy, hey? So some of them paint and then stretch it after. Absolutely. You know, I follow quite a few artists that do that. They love the. I think they just love that it's easy to move around and they mm. put it on there or, or some artists throw it on the floor yes. and then they really become quite interactive with their work. Yes. That's, That's really true. handy. Yeah? And what I actually yeah. use these for, I've ordered from um, here before, is I use it if, if I'm, so for work that I'm sending overseas, I don't send on the frame like oh, that. That makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. So it's way too expensive for mm. client and me. So the thing is, I just do it on the canvas and specific size draw out that size and then it just gets rolled and then i see you have a whole lot of tubes there as well yes <clears throat> you know your cardboard tubes they get put in a tube like that and then off they go Easy does the to thickness transport. of the paint matter like will it crack or no. with the rolling um, i suppose if you're working i mean i do work quite thickly but not that thickly that it would crack okay. and you know when you're using good quality materials they are, they're there for good. They're not going to just chip off or crack or anything. So, I mean, I don't use that thick. I think you'd have to really be, yeah. But no, it rolls easily enough and, um, 
and off it goes in a tube easy peasy and then the client and I'll always sometimes I'll leave the border around it anyway so that the client that receives it that side still has the option to either frame it or restretch it mm. they can still restretch that canvas because yes. it's got the edge on yes yeah but that's very handy to know you do that eh? yeah and then the paper you said you've got a yes, big paper uh, collection got a big paper collection um, Oh I'm wow, it does the... look massive. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's going like beyond, beyond. Damn. Wow. Oof. Apparently, this is before <clears throat> my time, but yeah. all the staff members have spent about three months training on the paper room because really? they need to know the touch, the feel. We can't barcode each individual paper. So oh, my staff, wow. yes. Oh, because it's so just so many. So any new meaning. staff member would have to spend about three months in here just learning the texture, the feel, how to count the paper. Yeah. Wow. So that's. I will always. That's uh, very <laughs> impressive, huh? Hey? Yes. So, it's literally a paper for every occasion. Paper for every occasion. Weddings. Oh. We have some envelopes oh, as well. See, of course. People for making weddings. their own books their own diaries oh, of course There's menus so many... waiters are like waiters Yes, restaurants yes. come in and get their paper of course here. you just don't think i mean there's so much mm. to do with paper so in, a, in the origami creative... wow paper making yeah so wow so oh so it's all different kinds of people that would come to all buy here, huh? and i see you've got them all in um I love all these shelves, so they're just full of paper. So you've got colored card, you've got, this is for the weddings, I suppose, yes. or letter writing, if you do that. Um, oh, wow, so it's literally, so where, these aren't papers to paint on, though, hey, or are they? That is on the other side, that would be more the watercolor what these, paper. Oh, okay, so what are these for, thing. just... Also, Sketching, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. And then the other ones, the paint, the ones that you paint on, because I love painting on paper. And actually, the um, oh, we can go there as well because I need some more. Yes. But for the workshop this Saturday, yes. the one that you're coming to, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I need. Are we going to be working on paper? Because I just find paper is such a, it's a more friendly, not such an intimidating thing as a canvas. And people don't realize that, yeah, paper is just so easily accessible. And, you know, if you've got a good quality paper, which we're going to show you now, you can really paint, ah, paint up a storm on those papers. And the wonderful thing about that is then you can have them framed. And they look, it's, it's, then it becomes really, really a magnificent artwork. You know? Sure. So yeah. Well, I, I'm not the expert on paper. No, that's fine. But um, you've got your where your paper, you've got your papers that you paint on, yes. and then also they come in book form. So these would probably be yes, yeah. yes, yes. yes. You've got watercolor, you've got printmaking. Wow, it's such a selection, eh? Yeah. I mean, I'm just looking at all the shelves. It's quite incredible. All the names, the Fabriano. Oh wow, no listen, just goes on and on here huh? and the yeah. colors, wow my <laughs> word. So this li literally is a one-stop shop here. Huh? And I also wanted to ask you, what is this foam board for? What do people use this for? Framing? Projects, what is they use? usually for uh, projects. projects. Uh, okay. Either making uh, models because it's a nice sort of firm yeah. here yeah. oh that's really interesting wow so now what I need to get is the book you can get them in booklet form um, they're also a Primark brand the uh, books our okay. pads are done yes, pads. Yeah. let's go let's go okay it's quite nice shopping in here Oh, wow. Now, the only reason I know this is because I've got printing friends. Yes. I've got printing friends. So we've got a lot um, of printing workshops coming up. Oh, that's um, wonderful. And what, um, are there artists that are coming to show different... Yes. So, uh, Sulette basically had this in storage and we got into chatting and she was telling me about her printing and I was like, I wish I had a printing press. And she's like, I've got one in storage. And I was like... Mm -hmm. 
Well, we can keep it here. And yes. You can come and print on Mondays. So she comes and oh, prints on perfect. Mondays and allows us to use it. Oh, that's cool. Because you've got the lovely like space here. Yeah, that you've space. space. And while we're here, we're just going to show you this lovely space. So this is where we are going to be doing the workshop. Is that right? Is that correct? It is correct. We're yeah. going to. Oh, that's fantastic. So we've got a little basin there for the water. And then, um, oh, so you covered the tables. So you're having a workshop here today, huh? Yes, we're having oh, a polymer clay jewelry earring. Oh, that's lovely. Workshop. So you have so you said your daughter also? Yes, yes, she also did the lawyer. She also did that as a business. Okay. Um, and I just see you've got name tags there. Do you have name tags for people? What's yeah, we have okay, some name nice. tags. <laughs> because I was thinking also for Saturday while we're speaking about it, yes. maybe some name tags. Okay. Where are just stick on ones? Just so we can see the people's names. Because I don't think I'll know many in this workshop. If you're like me, uh, they go in one year and out there. Exactly. <laughs> so That's you need why name I, mean, tags, I need yeah. the name tags. Okay. okay, good. Okay. But this we is a lovely sunny them. space. This is where I'm going to be working. But we'll take some pictures and share it. Um, online, but again, you can just go to their website. You've got all your all lessons, our workshops, workshops are that are going to be page. doing, and you've got it. Um, I will do another one next year, yeah, because you know it's September tomorrow, it's already nearly the end. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go for the, the books, the pads of paper that okay. I need. Sorry, <clears throat> oh, there we go, there they are, there they are. Wow, we've got a big range of this, huh? Wow, all the sketch pads, a big range. So you see, what I find is good. Which part? Is it the watercolor? Is it, this is the one, yes, the watercolor. So here, this Primark one here. Let me just show you here in the light. So this is called Water. Um, and it's 300 GSM. This is a very good quality uh, paper, so it absorbs, it can absorb a lot of water and a lot of, when I'm painting, you know, thick acrylics, it can absorb quite a lot, so, and it doesn't buckle. Oh, so I think good. that's why it's a really good one to use. And as I said, it feels so much more accessible than a canvas. I actually feel a little bit more free when I'm painting. I'm not talking about my big canvases that feel free there, but I'm saying, yeah, when you're doing little things, I feel a little, little bit more free on paper. So you'll see we'll do that in the workshop. So and it's an easier size to frame. Okay. Easiest to frame. And yeah. you know, you know, when you're framing something, you know, this can become a lot a much bigger artwork because you put a bigger mount board around it, you know, there's yes. lots of different ways of framing. It becomes a whole, you know, more serious, bigger artwork. It's wonderful. Okay. So I'm definitely going to get that. Pop that in the trolley there. And then you get bigger ones. So you get a big one like this. Oh, this is wonderful. So this is an A2 size. I mean, how wonderful is that? That's a really nice size. So again, you know, you can just, the thing with that as well is you can just tape it onto a wall or put it down on a table. You know, if you just want to work at a table. Um, I sometimes just work on the floor with it. I feel, a lot, uh, yeah, it's a really, really lovely, thick, thick paper to work on. So I'm going to get that as well, gonna maybe, that? yeah, I'll get okay. that as well. Maybe you'll have to carry that, sorry. I'll, I'll that. <laughs> oh, she's sweet, okay. <laughs> but you've got a lot of, a lot, you know, okay, so I said that was the thickest, that's, that's 300. This one here is, so this is a multimedia pad you can also use. You see charcoal, pastel, graphite, acrylic. Let's just put it up here so you can see. So the thing when you've got papers, there's so many things you can do with paper. I mean, you've got, you, there's lots of different mediums you can use. And again, you can still use acrylic on this. Um, this is just like a more medium thickness paper. Um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. You just maybe wouldn't put as much water on it. Um, but absolutely, it's perfect. I mean, this is really quite thick. It just depends what you need. I th think that's the thing is look for the GSM. This one says 200. GSM, that's 300. And that's just the weight of the paper. So that will help you decide which kind of paper. And just feel them. I mean, come, you know, come and just feel is this the thickness you're wanting. Even if you're drawing, maybe you still want a thick paper. You know, you maybe don't. And, and also some of them are a little bit textured. You're wanting a little bit of texture if you're using charcoal or whatever you're using. 
So I'm going to take that other one as well. Small one. Okay, so um, they've got a very big selection. That's amazing, hey? Okay, so we can... Oh, you've got such pretty things there. What are these? Watercolor postcards. Yes, so you can... That's so pretty. Are they round? They are round. Look at that, I've never seen that before. So it's a little, little paper in here. Wow, you see, that's the thing why you almost need to sometimes come into a store to see the candy like this, hey? Because there's so many interesting things that they come up with now, hey? Yeah. There's always How something cute new. is that? Little, you could do a little painting on that, little drawing. Send it as a postcard. Oh, my word. Christmas is coming. Oh, Christmas is coming. <laughs> September tomorrow, people. <laughs> Just a reminder. Yeah, I mean, that's quite amazing, hey? Oh, you know what? I'll quickly, one more thing I wanted to... I think we're here. This is the marker section. I wanted to speak about this. Are these the markers? <clears throat> now, I follow a lot of artists that work with acrylics, and then they use markers into their work. Sure. Because they're, it's like paint. Are these the ones? Are these the ones that are like paint? Um, these are paint markers. And these also very paint markers. Is the yeah, yeah. yeah, the Posca. Where's that? Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay, let me just bring my trolley. Hold well on. <clears throat> I'll have to get some. Because uh, they're in a. Oh, it's like in a machine. Yeah. Like a. Like you put Fancy. your money in and then it like <laughs> pops out. <laughs> you know, like the vending machine. Wow. Yes. Posca, so that's what the Posca is. You've done our windows in Posca as well. Oh, you did your windows outside, yes. the spring adverts. Yes. Oh, you did them in Posca because they adhere to surfaces so amazingly. And they're strong. Also, the color is so intense. So these Posca pens, you'll see they come in lots of different colors, right? And, and, thicknesses. and thicknesses. So you've gone down to, wow, these are very thick, right? Yeah. And then they'll go down to quite fine. I've got some fine ones that I actually just write cards with or whatever. But I've used some of the medium ones. And actually a thick one, I've used the white before. So um, some artists, I follow, I follow actually a few artists that use them. And so when you say done your painting in acrylic, the, the, the painting must be dry though, okay? Then they just add detail. It's like line work. Yeah. They're I've, beautiful. I've used it. Have you? And sometimes, like, if your hand shakes a bit, you know, with the fine brush. <laughs> yes. You know, and you just want that very detail. Then. That's a very important, uh, clever point. You could yeah. even sign in it. Exactly. You know, people, if I've given workshops long ago. I did sign, actually. You did sign? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's so interesting that because a lot of people, um, when I used to give art workshops long ago, they would even ask me to sign their work. I mean, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Just because they're nervous to use a small brush. <laughs> but understandably, you do, you feel a little bit more unsure, unsteady, you know, shaky. Whereas you're used to using pens when you write, so that a Posca pen would do that. But they're lovely for line work and they stay on the painting. The color is so vivid and it's so interesting on the, on the, on the painting because you could never achieve quite the same with a brush or it would take you a lot longer. It's almost like you can really just draw mm. onto that That's painting true. with the Posca pen. It very is. handy, very handy. Oh, so many ideas, so many ideas. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> well, I think that's really about all for now. Um, but if you come into store, as I say, there is plenty more to have a look at. Um, you might, I think, the thing is just to have a browse. Hey? And all your staff, they know all the ins and outs of everything. So yes. they'll, help, they'll help people um, to know what, how best to approach a project. They will, most of my staff are artists and they've been here from, you know, 10 to 20 years. That's so wonderful. They are very experienced. They're very experienced, yeah. Well, wonderful chatting with you, um, Natasha, and I'm going to see you on Saturday. And Sorry. thanks so much for listening. Let me just see if there's any more questions. People are just saying hello. But yes, I will share this to Instagram. And then if there are any other questions, you can just let me know. Will you be working on water paper? Yes, I'll definitely be working on the water paper. So, um, great stuff. Thanks, Natasha. Bye, Bye guys.